So there we go, I've cut all the plates down an extra two inches. So I'm gonna start cutting this walnut into quarter inch strips. So I'm gonna cut as many of these as I can. I got one, two, and the third piece right there, and some more up there. So here's a little more of what I cut. I'm on the last piece that I have left. And I've been doing it mostly off camera since that saw is terrifying to cut with. But I'm almost done the front and the drawer. And I put some finish on here to see what it would look like with the finish. But I just have to do both sides and I'll be done. I got a special little package in the mail today. So the right side is finished now and I've flipped it over, put it on the bottom and all the weight is going to help cure the glue down there and put pressure on. And now I'm going to spend another two hours doing this side and with the power of editing I'm done all that with four hours of work. And here's the first side I did, the front. And the second side is drying up now. I got a little more character on this side with the knots. And just to show you how close I was on running out of walnut, this pile is all the walnut I have left in my shop right now. So right now I'm doing the feet and I've made these pieces which are about 10 by 5 inches and some little holders which will get screwed down with 3 quarter inch space behind it, two of them for the corner of the couch right here and then glued and screwed in to the side. And I'm 
just going to make a finger pull with a 7 8 hole saw. So now it's time to solve the back and originally I was going to use the same thing as the bottom is just put a piece of plywood across staple uh, foam to the back with fabric wrapped around it and that's it but I tested it and it's too hard you need some sort of springing for your back somebody at work gave me a really good idea of using seat belts they don't have that elasticity but I, they're super durable I can staple it on and I can give it a little bit of slack so that I have some give to it. So I'm going to cut a whole bunch of these. Looks pretty good for a piece of pine, eh? So I started off with just a pine, sanded down, stained it with dark walnut, let it dry, sanded it down with 80, then 120, then 220, being careful not to gouge it. Then after that, I used a lighter stain, or I chose a provincial, and because the dark walnut is in the deep grooves, it creates this nice highlight, low light thing that I like. I don't know if it's if there's a name for it. I've just kind of figured it out over the years. But it looks really good for using simple wood. So I'm almost done here with the top piece. And just as a comparison, this is the same wood that this came from. I just put a hole here and the hole over there for some speakers and with that the whole project is done.